Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is Alpha 7. Uh, I believe this is episode 8 of my Alpha 7 series. Uh, we're running the experimental, that's, well, that's all that's available on Alpha 7 right now. It's not quite in public release, but... Um, so, last episode, we will... We started again on Akua. Um... And I got enough mats together to spawn my hover box, so I did that. And like I was saying on the last episode, I was going to multi-tool down the uh, survival camp and take all that those mats with me and find a new base location. So I think I've done that already. Let's log in and take a look. <clears throat> Now, this is, I believe, about halfway through the second day already of the server, so that means that evil critters have spawned. And let's just uh, be out here. So I, I brought us down to... I'm in the hover box right now, by the way. But I brought us down... To this section of the map, there's a bunch of resources around. Lots of iron, there's silicone, copper, promethium right there. Uh, and there's no real POIs close by, as, as least that I couldn't see. Uh, also, the reason I'm choosing this is because it's far enough away from the mountains so that, depending on where the drone base is, by the time they come down and get close enough to shoot at my base <clears throat> they'll be at about the same level as whatever defenses that I have set up for the base so so I should be able to pick them off way before they get to the base and it's fairly flat enough so that I should be able to go and and scrounge their parts without without bouncing around too much when I go out there to, to get it so that's what I want to do today I uh, already my, I put a mobile constructor on the HV because I could build one from the um, from the survival constructor, so that was awesome. I also built a bunch of stuff to get our base up and going. I've got the base starter kit. I got 400 concrete blocks. Got the a uh, bunch of the stuff I actually took right out of the. I just took the blocks right out of the uh, survival base. So. Let's get this going. I've got everything I need to start a base. Uh, I don't have any fuel though, do I, by the look of it? Did I put any in my cargo box? No, I've got some boosts that we looted. I've got some more blocks in here. I, I, these are more blocks that I took from the base, so... Um, We'll have some stuff to put up right away. Got a couple grow plots. That's really good. So, okay. Um, well, I guess what we'll do, let's find a nice flat spot to park here. It doesn't look like there's critters that spawn right here. Oh, they're over there. I'm willing to bet that is a really nasty is that one of those gray is that one of the real real mean ones no no so those aren't the aggressive raptors okay got to be really careful about raptors the the gray ones will chase you around the freaking world and they will catch you and kill you and draw everything else on you <clears throat> okay so it does look like stuff spawns right down in here well that's okay that's okay what i plan on doing so let's just go in the middle here find somewhere flat for the i'm just gonna park this And we've got a thousand minutes left on power. Okay, lots of power. So let's go ahead and make some more because we're going to need 
power for the base and you can see we've got a bunch of pellets made and we've got lots of promethium right now so let's just go ahead and queue up 10, that'll make 20, 40, 60 Yeah, 60 will be good for right now. Okay, so let's jump out. And we'll put our jetpack on. We'll equip our gun. So I also made a um, assault rifle with like 500 bullets. So we've got something. Okay. So, I really like this pond here. It looks gorgeous, eh? I'm just gonna... just gonna go down here and peek my head in with the drone. I don't think there's any seaweed down here, but... Yeah, it's just... It's just really low. It's not very deep. What about the other one? This one looks much larger. Potential for seaweed. It looks deeper too. And yeah, there's just little grass. Little little water grasses. Yeah. So really nothing. Okay, so there is nothing in these, so I'm not too worried about destroying the biomes. Uh this one's more out in the middle, isn't it? Okay, so, let's grab stuff out of here. We're gonna go into the, did I put it all in, just leave it in the, no, I've got it on me, now what? Yeah, okay, let's just, and ooh, we're about to, let's eat as much as we can before it perishes. That's gonna start being a problem pretty quick, is food. Let's just move out up there. Okay. So, what I really want to do is actually put the starter block in the water. Which side do I want to do? I think I want to do this side. And then make a platform out so that it kind of, on this little peninsula, yeah, so let's do that. We're gonna drone it up. We're gonna go down into here and just, we don't need to go too deep, I don't think. And which way are we facing? That's, yeah, I like that direction. Okay. The direction that your avatar faces is the direction that the box get placed when you place them. Uh, when you place the starter block anyway. And then everything follows the direction of the starter block after that. So I'm thinking right here. Maybe in this divot right here. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to push that down a little bit. Down. Sink it down into it. Right there. Okay, so now we're going to add some blocks here. And we're just going to build this up so it sticks out. Get this going here before drones come and kill me. Okay. Pull this straight up, and oh, nice! Look at that. It's going to be. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yes. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Just, just it barely sticking above the the water. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Let 
let me just quickly check my structural integrity. Yep. Yep, it's solid. I'm just going to leave that on for now. It makes it a little easier to build with. I know the color sucks, but... Uh, bright green means as structurally solid as you can get. As it goes darker, it means it's losing its structural integrity. So I'm just, oops, I'm just putting blocks on here to cover up the, uh, the core, really, to protect the core. Okay, so almost. Okay, we've got a block, a nine square block. Um, I'm probably just going to continue to punch that right up. So let's let's just go up. Not sure how high I can go here, but yeah, that's probably pretty good. So the reason I'm just doing a big long tower is this is where the the turret is going to sit at the top of this. And I need to get this up real quick. Now, can I do the control and then bring it up? I can do a wall at a time. That's OK. OK. I can pull that up. Now, I think there's actual ways of doing. I haven't really played with the construction tools that much. And apparently, there's ways of doing like whole blocks worth. And I forget what the shortcut keys are. And I will look into that. Uh, because it would probably be a lot quicker because then you could I could do my three by three block and just pull a tower right up really quick okay so we've already used 130 blocks wow okay so I think that tower is going to be good enough because that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten okay good you know what let's do 12 <laughs> just just because so we'll stretch some blocks across here and again stretch some blocks across too much come on there we go okay okay and then well obviously I'm gonna need more blocks eh so let's go into the constructor and continue with building blocks I got lots of crushed stone. Okay, so let's just carry on. Artificial mesh, concrete blocks. Get a couple hundred more of those going. And you notice I also made a multi-tool. That's how I multi-tool down the um, the survival base. Obviously, Eat that corn. It's all spoiling. Damn, all my food is spoiling. That's good and bad. I do need spoiled food, but right now I actually need the food more than the spoiled food. That's okay, we'll just keep going here. Let's, um, we're gonna pull this across. And oh, that, that gave me level seven. So placing blocks gives you XP, obviously. Uh, I wanna keep my structural integrity, although that little bit there, it's not really gonna matter. Okay, let's. Let's, do I do one more? I just fill that right in? No, I don't, I don't know. I think, um, I think what we want is to pull it to the side. Yeah, so let's, come on. And we want to stretch it out go like really far boom you notice a big lack of structural integrity there because it's actually just floating into nothingness so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place blocks down and you can see that that increases the structural integrity and it adds structural integrity to blocks closest to it so let's um, I wonder if I should just go like this There we go. 
There we go. And then we go, how wide is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we need to go wider. That's okay. I'm just going to continue. You know what? I'll, I'll add the structural integrity pieces to the back here. So I'm just going to create a wall down, connect that up. And that gives us structural integrity to work with. I'm not too worried about the dead center. I'm not going to put too much weight there. Okay, so let's continue this wall, I think. And we're going to expand over and here. So let's do that. So we want to come up and over. And come up and over and up like that and we'll fill this in okay <clears throat> and then we'll fill this in get it with the other one can I stretch it further? No. Nope. Okay, so it's just, oh, my, what, didn't it? Oh, I'm out of blocks already. Holy crap. 400 blocks there, folks. 400 already. Yikes. Didn't realize it would, uh, it would be ex so expensive. <clears throat> but at this point, at this point, while it's spinning that up, I think we have enough to get the rest of the stuff on here. Let's see how much it's made. Wow, it's... Okay, it's going to need more than that. Well, that's okay. We'll take these blocks and we'll use them. Get this. Come on. This filled in. Okay. And so that should be far enough. Should be far enough. Might have to dig that out just a smidge. I plan on having a door right here, maybe. Where am I going to put the door? Maybe right here? Or should I just extend this out? Let's just keep extending it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just keep extending it. So, we're going to go up and extend where I can't see. Let's go up. Stand. Come on. Stand. Okay. And put another corner piece in. Come on. Oh, come on. Thank you. And we'll extend to there. And we just got to fill that in okay so this is going to be the wall oh actually this will just be the let's go just to here come on okay i think what i need to do is is this do i go down yes i do okay Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself. I'm just trying to figure out where to put these blocks. Stretch that. And to there. Okay, so... Oh, out of blocks already. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the generator right up in this corner. I'm going to start putting in some stuff here. i got to get the constructor going to build a cannon. Because I don't think... Huh? Okay. 
Some more blocks. It's, it's happily punching away. We might run out of stone, but we'll be able to get more when we go uh, mining. Um, okay, so I got lots left on that one food. So I do have some food left that's not going to spoil for a while. So let's get some other stuff in here. We're going to get the small generator in. We're going to get the fuel tank in. Let's just put my band-aids up here. So we'll do the generator. We'll get this. I'm just going to put it in the corner. Come on. And I want to stand it up. The other way. I want it that way. And there. Okay. And then I want my fuel tank. I'm just going to stick it there. And then... Yeah, this will work because this is going to come out here. So basically I'm going to have this come up and just a bit of a wall here. And oh, that must be the sun coming up or the sun going down. Is that the sun going down? Yeah, it looks like the sun's going down. So we're gonna we're gonna start getting some real nasty critters. Okay, let me switch positions so that I have at least a little bit of LOS. Uh, okay, so let's get the constructor in. Let's leave a little bit of a gap there. So, how about, right, like that? Or do I just do one? Yeah, there's good enough. Okay. Okay, so now what we need to do is, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this. And move it over onto here. That way it's going to make it easier for me. Okay, so now let's grab the stuff out of here. So it can plug away at that stuff, but what I want to grab out of here right now is this stuff. space and just now I could I could just P I could just go into the control panel to access this but it's easy enough just to face it and hit F. So we're gonna put all of the craftable stuff construction materials in here. Okay and what we really need to do is get a can of turret up and going. We're gonna need ammo so we'll queue up some ammo. We'll put the ammo box down. <clears throat> okay. So let's put fuel in the base. Oh, did I not grab those fuel? Okay. Okay. So let's grab the fuel. Okay. Oh, lots more. Concrete blocks, good. Good, good. It's going to run out of stone soon. I might not get have all the concrete I need. But I think I should be able to fuel this up and get my constructor going. So let's just. Took 40, that's okay. We're going to power it up, and drones are going to start coming right away here. So we'll let that go. We can put the ammo box in um, doesn't have to be anywhere fancy it can just go there okay so once that finishes building my turret I'm gonna place it up on the top and put the ammo that it's building in the ammo box 
See, there they come. There they come. There they come. Okay, what, what are you doing? You just frozen? Really? Really? Oh, no, there it goes. It was just... Okay. So we'll take this. And we'll launch our drone. We'll go put this up here. Okay. Tab in and out. The drones are going to be here any minute. Depending on how close they are. And this will actually give me an indicator on where they're coming from too. So... That'll be good. And what do we got for ammo? We've got 300. Okay, that should be enough to protect us right now. We don't need the drone right now to do this. Go here, get F, and we'll just dump that in. Oh wait, that's the wrong ones. Oh, I didn't grab them because I'm a derp. So, we'll... Oh, I put them in my... What? Okay, whatever. 600. And we'll go like this. And we'll go like this. And I don't want the turret shooting at predators, so I'm going to go into the turret. And I guess I can load it. And then we'll get out of it. We'll just go to the properties of it. We'll turn predator off, warp drive off, thruster off, generator off. That'll shoot at things with turrets, mounted weapons, and aliens, which include, include drones. So it won't it won't waste all my ammo on predators. Okay, so I don't know where. Let's turn the structural integrity off really quick. And whoa, lose all lighting. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's one of the drawbacks. Um, actually, I seem to recall having some lights. Oh, you know what? I can get this food processor. Let's get some more stuff down while we're waiting for the drones to show up. Okay, so... I plan on having multiple constructors, so I want to leave a spot there. Uh, and I'm going to have like a, I'm going to have a furnace come out right here. So I want one more constructor here, so two blocks. And then I'll do my, so that's one, two, three. And we'll just spin that facing the correct way. And then I want to have my fridge. On the wall there? Okay. Okay. Um, how's this doing with the concrete? And it is out of concrete. So we've got a couple hundred more left. I could start using the steel blocks, but I don't really want to. Uh, we'll just leave that stuff in there for now. Actually, let's grab that. And, oh, a light. Let's loot. Let's use that right now. Just to, just to give us some lighting. Um, yeah, we'll put it over here for now. Because I'll be working down here more. So we'll just put that up on the wall right there. And then we'll crank the... We'll go into the properties of it using the control panel. If you have your crosshairs on the item and you're close enough, you can get into the properties of it. And I'm going to crank the range while keeping the intensity at 2. There, now we got a decently lit area to work with. And come on, where's these drones? It's almost like it's lying. I... I so obviously we're like way far away from the drone base, which is okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's get these walls up. Finish off the floor here. 
just gonna hide behind here give me some break some LOS from other creatures potentially because there's oh crap and there's a raptor I'm gonna have to hide because I think I saw a night raptor Yeah, and we got to go get that drone. I need the parts. So let's let's just jump into here. Yep, Night Raptor. <sighs> and Night Raptor in my base. That's awesome. Not really. Oh, and yeah, look at all the evil dudes there. Lots of evil dudes. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> Crap. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to need walls up. I might actually have to put a sentry gun out to take care of all those critters. Sentry guns are useless against drones, so the sentry guns just get one shot. But against, uh, against critters, it does a pretty good job. So let's jump out. Oh light on. We'll just do a quick little jump and spawn the drone. Nope, try this again. Jump and spawn the drone. And we'll grab the minigun parts. And something's right there. I don't know what it is. I can't see because it's too dark as usual. Okay, some little critter there making snarly noises. Okay, let's head back to base. And I guess I'm going to have to just hang out in my hover box to build this. Well, that's okay. There's a trick you can do. So I'll just put this here. It's fine here. So there's a trick you can do. I'll show you it. So once I... Yeah, he didn't like that, did he? Oh, great. There, he broke LOS. Once you break LOS, they'll stop coming after you. Maybe. Yeah. Yep, see that? There you go. <laughs> okay, these guys are super annoying. I think I need to make See, I can actually go into my constructor with my uh with my drone because I am close enough to it with my avatar to actually do this. So, I'm not going to make a that's for HV, isn't it? Yeah. Um I didn't take it. Do I have any Oh, you know what? I should put the stuff in the fridge before it spoils. I only got one thing to put in the fridge, really. Okay, well, let's... You know what? I can just eat it right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make some Gatling guns. I'm going to make a ammo box. And I am going to make some 15 mil bullets because I'm just going to kill these guys with my HV. 10, 20, 30. And that's 3,000 rounds. And I'll put all the stuff that I looted into the constructor. That other stuff I might as well just put in the large food processor. Put all this in the food processor. Oh, gotta put that in the constructor, food processor, food processor, constructor, and constructor. Okay, so let's go back into the constructor. We'll put that in there, that in there. We can also put the ventilator in here. And, oh, um, and we can put a shutter door on too. So let's do that. Just put that into here for now. And then we'll put 
No, actually, I can I can keep that there. Put that there, and then we go into the ammo box, and we put the rest of this in there. Okay. Okay, so now, let's seal this up. I'm going to put a ventilator in behind the seat here. And then I'm going to seal up the... I'm going to seal it up with this grate. So we want a 3 by 4 We want to lay it down. And just like that. Boom. And there we go. My temperature went to 22 degrees. That means it's sealed. I don't have actually any oxygen. It doesn't matter. This is not an oxygenated... Uh, I don't need oxygen on Akua. I will for space, though. And I will for underwater exploration. So, let's check to see how this is doing. Okay, it's got my Gatling guns made. It's got my ammo box, and it's got thousand rounds of ammo, so we'll just grab that. Okay, so let's get these placed. Just gonna stick one there and there. And then the ammo box, I'll just put hmm, let's put it there for now. Okay. And then we'll go into the ammo box. Put that ammo in. Okay, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's let's um, just jump in. And now I can load my guns. Now I don't have any lights on this thing yet, but and the RCSs really suck. But I will kill these guys. That's one dead. I need the heat. And he's dead. Okay, so the immediate threat of those guys is gone. Um, I'm gonna kill this guy too. Just because he's he potentially LOS me too. Okay, so. And then we'll just hover, and we'll get the drone out, and we'll loot these guys. See, they're the gray ones, the aggressive dinosaur. Aggressive. Okay. Well, yes, they are aggressive. see how critical it is to have be able to break line of sight on these guys because they are so fast they will just and they do a lot of damage too they're nasty they're the one one of the worst enemies in the game really and it's Hanakua the easiest planet it's funny now the reason why Akua is easy is because there is no patrol vessel okay so let's go back over to the base now and we've cleared that up and we can just continue on so let's get our drone back out uh, actually what I should do is get this meat going oops not there go like this Go like this, go like this, now go like this, and get that going. There we go. There we go. So now we have a way of, of hunting and getting meat. That's huge. Um, what else do I need here? Let's put this back here. Let's get these blocks in while it's cooking that. So we're going to put this like come on there and there and did I need a door 
Did I make a door? No, is it it? Here? Got a regular door, I'll grab that. Back hole, cargo, uh, there's another light, I need more lights, that's good. We'll put that in later, steel block later, that is later. Okay. Okay, so I need to make myself a large hangar door. Okay. So let's go into the constructor. And the rest of our ammo, we're going to go into here and make a hangar door. I already spec that, so get that cooking. Uh, cargo box. Actually, let's place the light first. Get another light somewhere here. Let another light put over here. Yes, over here. Okay. And then we'll crank up that. I know it's not the right height, but that's okay. This is, I don't want it too high here. Okay, so let's crank the range. Leave the intensity at two. It turns the intensity down sometimes when you crank up the range, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, so now we have some lighting. We have our defenses. Uh, we have a food processor and fridge. We're kind of rock and rolling now. We're really, we're making it happen. So basically this is only gonna be two blocks high. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna start a roof right here. The second floor is gonna be my garden. Um, but the hangar bay is gonna continue up quite high, so. Do I have this ready now? Yes, I do. Okay. I want to put the 7x5 door on. Let's just spin this. So let's go the 7x5. And come on. And right there. Okay. And then. What we'll do is we'll get that. So this wall is going to just continue. Okay, so let's do that. Then we'll actually have a safe spot. Okay. Just keep building this up. And then, so I guess I gotta come right down. Same height. Okay. And then we'll, I don't think I'm gonna have enough blocks to do the whole height, so let's just try too high. It's as far as I can go over that way. And we'll try again too high. Okay, so technically we've now, we're, we're in a safe spot now. Critters aren't going to come in. Um, now, should I start sealing this up? I don't think we need to seal it. I think we just need to keep getting the walls up. Okay, so we'll continue with this. And there we go, there we go. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the roof for this. And it's gonna go to like there. And should I do it further? Not sure if it needs it, because I can put some more stuff along this wall. I want to put some medical deco in here. 
help with like poisoning and all that kind of crap. Um, have another constructor there. A, oh, I'll have to poke that up through. I'll have to think about that. I might have to redo that over there for the for the furnace eventually. If this is going to be a permanent base. Okay, so let's continue with the how many blocks have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. So that means one, two, three. One, two, three. And then this is going to be the divider. We're going to have grow, grow plots to either side. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I want one more coming out there. And then. So that'll be nine. So this will be the wall. Uh, oh, I clipped into my crap. Let's uh, get flung like crazy. And oh no. Let's um, let's go down. And there we go. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to clip into your stuff. And the, well, the automatic door is opening. Good. Let's close that. Uh, you know what? We can probably just shut this off and jump out now because we're pretty much safe in here now. Okay. So let's continue on. We'll use up what blocks we have. So basically, I'm going to be creating. So I want to make sure this is nine again. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. So we'll start the wall here. Okay. And ah. Uh, it can be a little twitchy placing box, so make sure you have a multi tool with you. <laughs> Okay, five and across. Okay, so now, so that's going to be one block deep for the plots, and then it comes up one, two, and then a roof. So the roof is going to be like there. Okay, that's just, I'm just placing the blocks in right now just to give me a indicators on on heights and stuff. Okay, 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 and then I guess we don't need we don't need the full five height for the for the stuff I'm building and parking in here. So let's just seal seal this off from here. And we are out of blocks. Okay. Well, we got a good start. We got a good start. I just need a little bit more to seal this off and finish that. So I think we're going to leave the episode here. Uh, off camera, I'm going to go and collect some more stone by probably just mining a bunch more ores. Uh, that's real boring work. So what I'll do is I'll off camera, I'll go mine a bunch more. I'll probably shoot up some more critters for, for the meat and then I'll come back and I'll seal this up so next episode this base should be sealed and ready to get some grow plots installed and start some growing uh, and hopefully we'll be we'll have enough mats and levels to actually start tricking out the HV too so that's going to be what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to go mining. I'm going to get some stone. I'm going to finish off sealing off the base. And that's what I'm going to do off camera. So guys, if you like the episode, like and subscribe. Next episode, we will continue on with our surviving. Have yourselves a good day, guys.